You're reducing my consciousness to that of a computer. A computer is not really alive. I feel I am alive. I feel I am conscious. I am self-aware. I think a lot more happens in our minds than just sensory inputs and behavioural outputs. Functionalism is missing a key part. What's that? Understanding. What do you mean? Okay, here I would like to raise John Searle's Chinese room experiment. Very well. Cyril asks us to imagine a person who only speaks English. This person is put in a room with nothing but a rule book and thousands of Chinese symbols. The room has a letterbox. Occasionally, a paper with a Chinese symbol would be posted through the door. The rule book instructs the person that when he receives a certain Chinese symbol through the door, he will respond with another Chinese symbol. Outside the room, we have Chinese speakers. They are in fact writing questions to the English speaker and putting them through the door. As the letters come in, the person in the room matches the symbol in the rule book and sends out another Chinese symbol. Okay. Now the Chinese speakers outside the room are inputting these Chinese symbols and getting outputs of Chinese symbols. And they're managing to have a perfect conversation that they fully understand. As far as they're aware, the person in the room is fluent in Chinese and is understanding everything. And just by looking at the inputs and outputs, we too would think the person in the room is fluent in Chinese. But we know this person is not. He's just instructed to read the inputs and give the correct outputs. This person does not understand Chinese at all. I see. Cyril here has shown even though we see the correct inputs and outputs, there is no real understanding. This is exactly how a computer works. It is not thinking. It doesn't understand. It has programs running given the right outputs to certain inputs, but it doesn't have mental states. The mind, however, is not like this. It does not work like a computer. The mind understands. Systems which operate merely on syntactic processes, so inputs and outputs, based on algorithms, cannot realize any meaning or intentionality. For the mind to be nothing more than a computer program would mean all our thoughts are just programmed outputs with no real mental states. Because of this, it doesn't seem like functionalism really explains the phenomenon of the mind. Yes, I understand. Exactly.